One of my teachers at school, uh, is a former international cricketer uh, and a hockey player as well, uh, Chris Hart, um, and another teacher called John Smith who used to run the, the, the school hockey, you know, basically encouraged me to, to, to play uh, the sport and never looked back since. Prior to being selected for Ulster, I, got, I was selected for Ireland. Um, got my first cap for Ireland when I was um, 19, just turned 19, uh, which I think annoyed a lot of the establishment in Ulster at the time, but the Irish coach thought, right, you're good enough, come along and, and play. And my Olympic experience started um, at the 84 Games. We went to the tournament and we topped our pool. There were two pools of six. Um, and we got to a place that we never thought we'd get to. We thought going in we might be ranked about six or seven and that would be reasonable to come out of the tournament. But we're in the semi-final, Olympic Games, never been done before. And we played the pre-tournament favourites Australia in the, in the, for the bronze medal match. And to cut a long story short, we, we, we won it 3-2, but they pulverised us in the first half. They had something like 18 or 19 penalty corners. And we survived, 2-1 down. And we knew if we, the longer we stayed in, the more they would wilt because they were an older team. And uh, it was just an awesome experience the last 15 minutes where we scored two goals to win it. And then that team basically was, was the bulk. The six, 14 of the 16 went to the next game, but we had four years to prepare. And going into Seoul, we, had, we were ranked number two in the world. So it was a completely different experience. Getting, getting, getting through to the semi-finals was a chore. You know, but the, the medals aren't won in the, in, the, in the pool games. You've got to get to the semi-finals. And I think getting to the semi-finals was a relief. And then the, the main tournament could start. We had to play Germany in the final. And in, the, in Germany's semi-final against the Dutch, uh, their main talisman, Stefan Blusher, world-class forward, got a bang in the head at a penalty corner and was ruled out of the game. We played Germany in a number of matches before that uh, in competitions and we'd done really well against them. We always looked comfortable playing against them. Um, so there was nothing to fear. As the game went on, we were going to win it by, by more and more and more. We eventually ran out three, by three goals to one winners. Um, and it was a once in a, once in a lifetime with this particular world-class group of players that you'd probably never ever get together again. We lost in goal difference in the semi-final in Barcelona. I was happy to be there and a captain. Um, it was a new dynamic. A lot of the players were becoming much more full-time in hockey. And um, I suppose the lesson is if you, if you can do it once, you've got to try and ensure that you can do it more repetitively. Um, but we came close. We finished sixth. Um, and, but still, you know, looking back in those three games, finishing third, winning bronze, finishing first, winning gold, and finishing sixth in that period, uh, to which takes you up to 92. In 96, I think the team finished um, eighth, and then 10th, and so on, and so on, and so on. And so it was a real golden period. 